Hi, my name is Alex Munoz. This is a quick tutorial to look at the current options available to tether your 645Z to a Mac or a PC. As many of you may know, there is a software called Image Transmitter 2 which is made by Rico, and that software allows you to tether your 645Z to your Mac or PC. Um, I have that fired up right now. This is the most common option right now. It allows you to see your shutter speed that you can set to anything that you want. It, you know, you can see your aperture that you can change from here. You can change your ISO. So in other words, you can fully interact with your camera and you can uh, go into live view and you can also press the shutter button from within that application. So you don't have to go back to your camera. So especially if you're shooting product or if the camera is in a location where it's more difficult for you to access the shutter release, then you can do that remotely with your computer. And at the same time, you can save images to the card as well as to the desktop and you can decide where you wanna save those, a uh, certain folder, or um, how you wanna, uh, what format you wanna save. Uh, it can be RAW, it can be JPEG or TIFF. Um, this software, there's a different tutorial for this software online. If you wanna take a look at it, um, please go to the Rico Imaging YouTube channel to see how you can use the software in detail. Um, the big advantage of the software is that it works both ways. So that means you can make changes on your camera. And if you, you know, take a look here, I'm making changes here on the shutter speed. And as you can see, it, you know, it changes. Or you can change the shutter speed from within the app. It also allows you to save images, like I said, to your desktop or to a folder that you, you know, that you pick. And you can then use that folder as a hot folder in Lightroom. So for example, if I wanna do this, I can just fire out Lightroom. And in Lightroom, you have the option of auto import. On auto import, you would just say wherever you wanna import those images and where you want them to be saved. So if you set the output folder on your image transmitter 2 software to let's say the in folder on your desktop like I've done here then you can take a picture with a camera and that picture will pop up automatically in your library in Lightroom as long as the auto import is ticked and enabled. That is all well and good because it's a universal solution so this works for Lightroom but also for other software on the market. The new solution is provided by a company called um, DSLR software and if you let me just uh, go here and let me just close this for a second because I don't want this to interfere and this software is basically a plug-in for Lightroom it's available for several Lightroom versions and the beauty about this is it completely integrates in Lightroom so there's no saving to a separate folder no importing so basically as soon as the image is being pulled from your camera it goes automatically into the de designated library so how does that work you go to DSLR software download the trial version or purchase the full version that's up to you um, and then once you've installed it all you have to do really is go into tether capture and say start tether capture and then you give that session a name. You can call it studio session or I'm gonna call it tutorial. All right, I right, just leave it at studio session. Tutorial, there you go. So I'm gonna leave that tutorial. It automatically names the image files and you can change that if you want to, but I like the session so I know it's very easy for me to pick the image later. And you can also pick a start number. And then you can say, where do you want to save those images? I'm going to save it on my in folder on the desktop. That's where I usually save personally my images. And then you can also add that to a collection if you want to, or add your copyright information or change metadata as you like. So all you have to do now is hit OK. And you tell Tether DNA wants to access your network connection. You say yes. And there it is already. It says I'm connected to the 645Z. I'm right now set to a 30th of a second F9 ISO 200 and my white balance is set to flash. I have no development settings defined right now um, that I'm using when I hit that shutter or when images come in. And I, I can remotely release the shutter from here, but I can also 
add development settings. So if I want this to be black and white, I can pick a black and white and you know can easily import that. So one thing that is different here um, compared to the Image Transmitter 2 software is you have no live view. There's no live view here. There's not even a button for it. And in addition, you cannot change settings from here. I can click on it, it doesn't do anything. I can only make these changes on my camera, as you see. I just, you know, change the shutter speed and I'm gonna do that a little bit more here. And it adopts whatever you're gonna change here and it will change that, there you go. It's a slight delay. So same goes for aperture. If I wanna make a change to aperture, I can do that too. And the aperture is gonna change here in a second. So whenever that software communicates with the camera, it's being updated. I can also change the ISO and so on and my white balance. But the point here is I can make all these changes only on the camera, but not in the software. That might not be a big downside for a lot of people, especially if you're shooting with the camera in hand and you the camera is not you know difficult to access then that probably won't you know be an issue but the big advantage of this solution however is and i mentioned earlier it's very very fast so instead of writing it to the hard drive and reading it from the hard drive and then processing it it goes directly into lightroom so whenever i hit the shutter and i'm going to do that right now that image will pop up really quick that was just an image of a you know, so it's, as you can see, it's very fast. I'm shooting black images right now. And um, of course I can, I can do whatever I want. I can focus on whatever I want to focus. And I can do that right now, just manually, just take a quick picture for you guys here. So I am now making some adjustments, open up the aperture, zoom a little bit in, so it doesn't look too bad. And I am on autofocus right now focus and I'm a little bit overexposed right now so that should do and there you go so it is very fast these by the way are raw images so I shot against the right window right now but just to give you an idea there you go so it comes right from the camera it's very very fast there's virtually no delay in processing the image. So it really takes two or three seconds and you have the full raw file on your computer. This is really much, much faster than using Image Transmitter. However, please be aware, this is a third party software. This is not officially supported by Ricoh or Pentax. And more importantly, there are limitations. You, you don't have live view and you cannot control the camera from within the plugin. However, if speed is what you're after and you want easy access to the images and being able to modify them and you know do what you want to do with your images right there on the spot then this is currently the fastest and best solution available for the 645z thanks for watching